Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick one uh, and I do apologize. I have not been able to actually sit down and film for quite a while as December has been an absolutely insane month. Um, but today's video is going to be a Sephora box unboxing. I'm very excited for this one. Uh, so let's just go ahead and uh, dig right in. Uh, so the, this is what the inside of the box looks like. I haven't seen uh, the products that I've gotten this month, so we are doing this together. Um, the theme this month for December 2016 is the party goers. Uh, and of course we get the 50 bonus points uh, should we make a purchase in store. And all the products that are in my box will be in this book, so we're not going to go into that just yet. Ooh, the bag is actually really pretty this month. Uh, it's different than normal. It's uh, black with like a rose gold uh, print on it and a rose gold ribbon. And it says, I take the party with me. Hashtag Sephora play. Super cute. Actually, really, really like this bag. Uh, all right, so let's just go ahead and get started. The first product I am seeing is a detox dry shampoo from the brand Dry, Bo uh, dry Bar. Absorbs oils and freshens hair. I've never used this product, I don't believe, um, from this brand. I've used plenty of dry shampoo. use it all the time. <laughs> um, uh, but this is what this product looks like. Uh, I always have the need for dry shampoo, uh, specifically travel size ones, uh, so I can take them with me when I go places. Uh, so that will definitely be handy, I am sure. The next thing, let's see. I can pull it out. Oh, okay, is an Urban Decay All Nighter uh, Makeup Setting Spray. I actually have quite a few of these little baby travel sizes, um, but I do again adore them for actual travel. I also have the full size in the uh, oils D Slick. I think is the the gray cap, uh, and I do love this product for setting in my face uh, after applying all my makeup. But I never have too many travel sizes of those. All right, this is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in the shade, what shade is it? So let's open it up and find out. I'm sorry, this is what the actual packaging looks like. Let me see if I can open it without ripping it. Nope, not gonna happen. It ripped. Okay, so this is the Cream Lip Stain thing and it says it's Sephora's best selling lip stain. That is the tiniest little <laughs> trial I've ever seen. Uh, and it is the shade Always Red. I'm actually going to swatch it. This is a really pretty color for Christmas and for holiday parties. Ooh, it kind of reminds me of the shade that I love, the NYX Matte Lip Cream in Monte Carlo, I think it is. Though this might actually be a lot more red than that. Yeah, this is actually like fire engine red. And that is what that bad boy looks like. I'm very excited to give that a go. That is a really teeny little sample. All right, let's see what is next. It's going to get everywhere, isn't it? Why did I do that? All right, the next thing, if I can pull it out, is a little sample of the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer in the smoothing version. I actually used... 100 of my points to pick this bad boy up because I've heard everyone rave about it. I actually also have a trial size, a bigger size than this, like the um, half ounce size, I think, of the matte version. Uh, but I do actually already have this little guy. Uh, it's all right. It's not my all-time favorite. Um, I think I just need to give it more of a go before I actually make a, a decision one way or the other on it if I do like it or not. But that is always good to have. Again, travel sizes, you can never have too many of those guys if you do travel a lot like I do. All right, the next thing is actually a product from a brand I've never tried. This is Bobbi Brown, uh, and it is the Smoky Eye Mascara, and that is what that guy looks like. I'm actually going to go ahead and open it. Usually I don't open mascaras so they don't dry out, but I am probably going to be using this one. Yeah, it is a, um, a natural fiber sort of mascara as opposed to a plastic wand. Uh, this actually is going to go in my everyday makeup drawer. <laughs> Uh, so that I remember to use it since I have opened it, but that does look like one that I will enjoy using. And last but not least, oh, yes, is the uh, a perfume sample that you get every month. And this one is Elizabeth and James Nirvana in the scent Bourbon. So uh, one of my favorite YouTubers on here, Liv from Liv Loves Her Makeup, actually put this in her yearly favorites video. And I'm really wanting to give it a, a, a shot or give it a smell, I guess. Uh, and now I'm really excited that I will be able to do so. Uh, so that is what the whole... Uh, bottle packaging looks like. Let's see if I can give it a little quick spray and smell here. Woo! That's a lot. Okay. 
Ooh, okay. So it's almost a little, and this is going to be so weird. Bourbon really does accurately describe this, not because it smells like alcohol, but because when I smell it, I think of like being in a leather couch, like a room with lots of leather and couches and stuff, and like a cigar bar or something with a guy drinking a glass of bourbon on the rocks. That's what I think of when I smell this. That is really crazy that that would invoke that sort of scent or scent memory or scent trigger or whatever. Anyway, so that's what that smells like. That actually is really good for uh, a really nice scent for the winter, but might be a tad bit too spicy for my liking. But I will definitely have to give that a go uh, for the rest of the winter time. Anyway, so that is this month's uh, Sephora Playbox. I'm afraid to get this stuff everywhere. Uh, but let's see if there's anything really in here. Let's see what the notes are in that bourbon. Ooh, tell me. Okay, so intoxicating blend of vanilla, bourbon, and spiced wood with a delicate floral note. I'm getting a little bit more spice. Yeah, the spiced wood is really what I'm smelling. That's interesting. Anyway, so that is what the inside of the little booklet looks like this time. Uh, I've actually tried a lot of these products already. No, I lied. Just two. Not a lot. Two of the six. Uh, the primer and the Urban Decay setting spray, but I'm really excited to give this lip color a go, as well as that dry shampoo and that mascara. So overall, this is actually a really good box for me this month, uh, and I am excited to play with these products a little bit more. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know down below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks so much for watching. Bye.